Hey man, how are you? That's a coffee. Sweet, sir. Thank you. Uh, can What's up guys? Just woke up. About to leave the hotel. Let's go. What is up guys? We're going to the expo right now guys. We're gonna go meet Daffy Bass and King Bassin. Let's go. We got yo guys. Bass and coffee. What up, guys? We got <laughs> King Bass and dude. We got King Bass and I here. Right there. Let's get the vlog going. What is up, guys? We made it. We made it, guys. Coffee's uh, vlog right here. Hope y'all are having a great day. It's Charlie B, 550. Go follow me. And there's a reason for that. We got to noticing all the people on our pro staff, we were like, we keep missing a lot of fish. Why? Well, we determined that that weed guard catching the top of the fish's mouth because that's what he feels first okay you can trim that back same difference he feels that that hard plastic first right so we come up with the idea why just take the uh, weed guard off and use the plastics use a plastic trailer as a weed guard so we come up with a piggyback Piggyback uses its own self as a weed guard. That's cool. Soft yeah, plastic. Cool. Now, now whenever you that fish hits that lure, he don't feel it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't feel anything. The only right. thing he feels is plastic, soft plastic that he's after anyway. Yeah. He doesn't feel the. And by the time he does that, when you feel him bite, he's already hooked and don't even know it. Huh. Also, the way they lay under the water, they lay flat. Most of your jigs is just the skirt with a trailer. Yeah. Okay? And as you pull that jig, you might hop it, or if you pull it, it it'll roll over. Because just the way gravity is, that trailer will cause it to fall over. But with these, Act as an outrigger that keeps them keeps it flat. It won't roll over. It doesn't matter what you do to it. It won't roll over. It'll come up and it'll go over rocks like you see here. <laughs> yes, I don't mind. Hey. One, more, one time. Nice yeah. Hey, man. How are you? That's a coffee. Sweet, sir. Thank you. Uh, King Bass and Josh. Yeah. Let's see. How, let's get out of the yeah. middle of the. Can I get a photo with you? Yeah, man. Cool. Thank you, Jim. Yes, so yes sir. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, East, East City. Yeah. East oh, okay. City. Further east. Yeah. Yeah, Chad and I are about to start doing a bunch of river trips around here. Oh, yeah? So we're just oh, we just fun. jump in the river and go for two, three, four <laughs> yeah, days. Yeah, we're, we're kayak fishermen too. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I just I just spent eight days in the Liska, and it's awesome. And, I mean, for being only 1350 bucks for a Jackson, it was pretty good. Caught one ten two in Florida, and we had, uh, I caught uh, 12 over 8 pounds in the day before yesterday. Wow. Over eight yeah. pounds? Yeah. Oh, small mouth? No, a large mouth oh, down large in Florida. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, the big females had just moved up to start spawning, but they hadn't started yet, so they were hitting everything. 
Yo, what up guys, back in the car. Just got done looking at all the fishing lures and fishing tackle inside the expo. Got that bass right here, about to leave Knoxville and head back to uh, Johnson City. What I bought in there, I bought a favorite rod. I bought one of uh, AP Bassin's rod and I got a favorite spinning reel. But uh, <coughs> I'm gonna head back home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, we met, uh, we met Fluke Master, we met Bass Geek Dude. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Smash that like button. I'll see you guys next time on Bass and Coffee.